Hi everyone, this is Laura Lynn from the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop and we're doing weekend projects. Thank you very much for joining us today. We are working on block 11 of our 12 block series. We have them hanging out right here. Um, designed by my sister-in-law, designed by me and my sister-in-law, designed by my husband, and the rest have been free blocks. This is a uh, lovely designer. Her name is Lorna McMahon. Uh, she's got beautiful blocks. We're doing actually another one of hers today. It's the reindeer block, uh, but this is a free penguin man, and I really liked him. So right now we're doing this one. Okay. There's variations. It's only an eight inch by eight inch block. So we're going to have to block it out with some other color that we have from the quilt and pull it all together. So we're going to plug away at that. So we're just going to make one. Though, you know, you can make single block or four blocks. It tells you the measurements for both. So um, I really like her as a, as, a, as a person. She's very lovely. And as a designer, she's got some really cool stuff. And it's, you know, once you just follow the directions, it's pretty much easy peasy. Okay. So I've done a few little of the tiniest bits here. Like that's part of the ear for the deer. Um, and this is part of the top of the antler. Just a couple of the small little, and that's part of the ear. So now we'll start putting it together. Just cause, okay, I think I got to that part now. Cause there's like four pages just for this one little section here. So, all right. So, did I miss this sheet? Uh, did I get that out of sequence? I did get it out of sequence. Okay, I was wondering what was going on there. Okay, so now we need to arrange what we have accumulated so far, which is here and here. Oops, make sure we got those uh, little ears pointing the right way there and then this little part down here okay oops no hold on that goes there that still doesn't fit right i think nope <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I think I made a boo-boo, but they were just on the wrong side. Thank goodness. Like, oh, no, not again. <laughs> it's okay. See, life happens. Ups, downs, all the way around. It's okay, so we'll put those little pieces. It helps if you press them, but for time's sake, I, I'm not going to do that until after the whole quilt is done. And then we're going to use our big, big pieces here. That's going to finish it out there. I chose a very complimentary background to my other backgrounds that I have. I just was trying to pull in a little bit of a different uh, creamy color, maybe to match the trees and stuff like that. All right, so that's what we have done so far. So now we're going to draw, or we're doing uh, the rest of the antler, it looks like. So we need B and H which I believe, and even on here too, it tells you, you know, what H is, the size of it, so it's easy to find, and B, what the size of it, and which, what, what how, how, you know, how to locate it, so it makes it really easy. So B was six of them, at one and a half by two and a half. So is that one and a half by two and a half? Okay, so we need two of those, okay. And two A's, which I know are these ones, because I've already used them before. And the H's would be, the same size as the bees. That's not quite the same size. Is that it? Oh, we're doing the antler. That's right. So that's why. Okay. It's like, why is it not matching up? Because you have one color for the reindeer and one color for the antler. Okay. Don't get it confused. It's very easy. <laughs> very, very easy. Okay. And then this says uh, the bee laying this way with the right side up and then H going across it this way. And then you sew on the line or on the angle in this direction, okay? You can go from one side to the next or whichever works for you. And of course, the other one, you're going to have to do in the opposite direction, okay? Because we're making both sides of the antler. Okay, so now that that one's done, that I'm going to do the same thing for over here, just so I can get them done at the same time. Less confusion. And then just make sure you, you're, you know, even just like visually do it. You're, okay, I know I got to go from here to here, right? It doesn't, it doesn't take much to get a little, uh-oh, where'd I go? Uh, just because you flip something the wrong way, okay? 
and always double check go yeah okay that looks like that she's got beautiful instructions I mean beautiful pictures and everything else like that so it's it's quite handy so now that we've got those two pieces done we're going to add on the bottom piece and making sure we're going up like the 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 brown part when sewing when we're doing that last little is up on that angle piece it's on that little it's not going to be chopped off right because if we were to put it the other way it, we'd end up with a little triangle piece and that's not what we're looking for okay Alrighty. can't believe we're just so close to christmas and so close to getting this christmas quilt done like one more next weekend we'll be doing the last block i'm just totally thrilled I'm very happy you guys could all come pretty much sew along with me. Okay, so that's one. And now we'll do the other one. Okay. And we'll trim those little um, flaps off afterwards. Okay. I mentioned on uh, Long Arm Wednesday, if you don't know about that, check it out. Um, that uh, this is the first year we've ever had a fake Christmas tree and, and arrived it arrived yesterday and I was very excited so but we have some moving around stuff to do before we can set it up all right so those are the two pieces that I need and the fact that they're going oops oops I was gonna say the fact that they're going in opposite directions is a good thing okay because then you know you got them the right so we can trim those little bits off either use your rotary cutter and your ruler or just lop it off with your scissors nice sharp pair Remember, don't do your fingers. Okay, so lots of little bits. Remember that micro quilt we're never gonna do? Save them for those. <laughs> okay, so now we got those little parts done. Now comes step six, which is off of, looks like Q, which Q is the medium or light brown, one and a half by three. And that's exactly what we have right here. So we need these two Q pieces. And the G pieces are dark brown. There we go. Uh, one and a half inch square. Yes, okay, so we need those two to go on opposite sides. Okay, so right sides together. Okay. And then one up on this way, and then one up on that way, okay? And it's just a matter of just halfing it out. So from one little corner to the next, and we'll build ourselves a little reindeer. Okay, so that one went that way. Okay, and just to make sure, I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess and use the seam, rip, or seam ripper again, so I'm gonna go from this side down to that side. Because I've already used it several times already. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so that was the brown one. Okay, so we got those going in the opposite directions. Okay, I don't want to lop those off yet until I'm 100% sure. So now N and L. N, N was, uh, oops, I was supposed to have two of these. I'm sorry, I did cut two, but I didn't realize I needed two. Is that the same? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna cut two, sorry. I didn't realize I did need them. My bad, I'm sorry about that. One second here. Just needed to be nine inches. Okay, in the corner about. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so N and L, oh, it wants, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, where's the, uh, this guy here, okay. This is actually going to be making the eye, and you got to sew the whole strip down together and then cut a chunk off. Okay, that's what I was. There was um, I was doing a uh, work group, uh, sewing work group not too long ago, and the ladies were doing uh, the legs for the blackbirds, and um, I it, what, apparently one leg was bigger than the other. <laughs> so, but that's how they did it: nice big long strip, and then lopped off the size of the legs that they needed. Like I said, I didn't do this block before. We're learning all together. We're learning how to fly. Okay, so we may need that one. We don't need that one. So, okay, yeah. So N and L strips together. Cross cut into eight. 
well, we don't need eight, we just need two, two eyeballs, um, of one inch wide units for the eyes. This would result in enough pieces for all four either. Okay, so we don't need, we, we, it was the, we had enough measurements to do four, cutting out uh, four reindeers. Okay, so let's just do our one inch. And we need two little eyeballs, right? It did say one inch, right? Yes, it did. Okay, so that's one and two, okay? Our critter's got eyes. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, draw a diagonal line across the wrong side of O. So O is the light brown of four and a half by one and a half. Oopsies. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Am I missing something here? Light brown. I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. Did I maybe miss not cut O, oh, which is light brown, which is four 1.5 inch squares. And it seems I only have two. Do I only need two? I do only need two. I don't know why I'm making this far more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> But that's just Laura Lynn. <laughs> okay, we got this. Thought maybe I miscut. It's very easy to miscut, especially when there's so many things that are labeled and you need to do. Okay. Little brain fart moments in the quilt shop. All right, so let's get this done over here. So that's going on that angle. That's going to go down on this side. All right, now we're gonna sew the L and the N that we just did for the eyeballs right on top, okay? So we'll lop those off, lop those off, okay, and they should be in opposite directions, yes. Okay, so this needs the black to the brown side. And then we'll sew that. It's a tiny, tiny little seam. Can you imagine trying to sew those little tiny rectangles of fabric together? That'd be crazy. Okay, there we go. No, just one. Okay, that's two. That's two little eyeballs done. Okay, now to the next page. I think we're just pretty much gonna put this all together. Uh, no, I gotta do the mouth, that's right. Oh, sorry, not the mouth, the nose. So here's was our option. I did black and red just to give me pretty much right to the end of what I wanted to do. So I'm going with the reindeer one. That's what I wanna do, I wanna do Rudolph. So we're gonna do, we need the N, which is the one and a half by nine this one, okay, and then we need the M, which was this, okay. Um, where? <laughs> what was N? I needed two of them, okay, of the light brown. Why was this so big? I'm confused. That's okay. So hold on. This is P, which is uh, it's three by one and a half by two and a half. So I feel like I'm missing stuff. I think I am missing stuff. All right. Okay. So M is the black for the nose. And now to border it out, okay, we're gonna pause this for just one moment and I'll be right back, okay? Because I think I've made a boo-boo. Hey everyone, sorry about that, a little confusing. What I was trying to do is make this into the mouth when it really should have been this way and then chopped off. So I was, I was a little tafoozled, but we figured it out. And we'll proceed.
didn't think you wanted me to see me watch, watching me scratch my head going, what is going on here? I thought I cut everything right. <laughs> okay, so then this gets trimmed to a one inch wide unit, just like we did the eyes, okay? So, oops, get the right tool for the right job. Okay, line her up. Give it a little trim, because it was giving me enough directions to make four noses for four reindeers, not just one nose, okay? All right, so now we've got the nose done. We're gonna work on the chin, which is just a light brown piece, and then a pair a piece of the outside, what I'm using as the background, and then you're just coming up on an angle on both sides to form a bit of a chin, or the edge of the nose, or whichever, whichever it is it, you, you think it is. Oops, ah, see, those are the fun, start, fun stuff about small stitches, or small pieces. They kind of get a little eaten sometimes. So you have to start a little bit away from the corner and then kind of back step. Okay. Let's do this again. There we go, back stitch. Oh, geez, it really doesn't like that tiny one. Some machines are better than others, that's for sure. When it comes to that sort of, I don't think, you know, I'm gonna come on the other angle here. So it gives a little bit more meat to chew on. There we go. Where there's a will, there's a way. Okay, so that's one side. And then we're gonna do, place it on the other side and then come up on the same angle. So when we flip, it's gonna look like a little chin or the edge of the nose. I could stitch it. That's what I'm calling it. Not by the hairs of his little chinny chin chin. Okay, now we're going to start putting this reindeer together. Okay, so let's trim this off. And then we're going to put this here. We've come to the point where we put the nose to the chin, and now we're just going to finish putting the rest of the blocks together in their little sequence, okay? So, make it easy peasy. There we go. So, we're just going to follow this right here, okay? And put all the parts together and make a little Rudolph reindeer. Okay. And it is very important to have proper seam allowance. I'm a little, I sew on the shy side of a quarter seam allowance and unfortunately when it comes to stuff like this and paper piecing it does kind of get me into trouble so it's a little I'm trying to wiggle to make things fit so but yes a quarter inch seam allowance is exactly what it requires and there are some little finicky pieces <clears throat> don't be afraid to just stop and take your time and slow and steady rinse the race as the turtle says or turtle does Okay. All right. Okay. And then we're just going to be putting those little sections together. Okay. So there's the top part. Now I need one of these. It's the background filler for the top of the head. Okay. Oops. Laying her up here. There we go. Okay. Now. That's that middle. Remember, this is only an 8-inch block. It's not a 12-inch, so we're going to have to border it up. I think, I actually, I found some of this, this mitten-y stuff in my stash. So I'm going to grab some of that and maybe with another color blue, border it up. So that's that. Okay, now we're going to work on one of the eyes for the sides of the face, okay? Work on this. So this and right about here, because that lines up with there. And then we need the brown piece with the darker brown from the antler coming out on the corner, which is right. And then we need the angled antler piece up from the outside fabric there. No, I think we need to go the other way. Did I do that wrong? I think my antlers are too big. No, that's right. I just had it the wrong way. My bad. 
Okay, so we'll just start piecing those that little little strip together. Okay, it's the antler, and then the side of the reindeer face, and then a bit of the under the outside here. The background fabric. Okay. <laughs> Attach the eye. And then this and this get attached. If you need to pop in some pins, you know to do so. The question is why is one side a little longer than the other? It's always my question. I know that and that need to go together. So maybe we'll just do some wiggling and some pinning here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to match this up. Hopefully. I did okay. I want to match those seams so that makes it actually look like a reindeer. Missing pins. I meant to, <laughs> didn't finish my what I was saying the other day on Long Arm Wednesday that I needed pin heads because I've used a lot for the hanging these up. And I was like, why is my pin cushion so empty? I was like, where's all my pins? <laughs> okay. Sew down. Taking your pins out as you go. There's two there because that, that's where it lines up on the side of the face of the deer. So I want to make sure it's it's pretty accurate. Now let's see how that turned out. <clears throat> Okay, and then you guys think, remember there's pressing involved. Okay, so there's half. Okay, so let's work on the other eye. Okay, so we know that goes there. This piece goes there. And the antler chunk goes there. Okay, so let's just add those together. Do do. Yeah, there's lots of little pieces to this one, that's for sure. So a little a little time consuming, but so worth it in the end. It's such a cute block. Okay. And you don't have to make four, you can just make one like we are. Make one and put a pillow. Put a pillow in it. You know? Nice Christmas gift for someone. Don't know what to get them. <clears throat> It'd be brought out every year at Christmas and I'm sure you'd be thought of fondly. Okay. Now match those up. A little edge there. And this edge here. Do do. Okay. Because that to me is one of the very most important seams there. For some reason it seems like mine's still a little short. This reindeer may need a facelift. <laughs> Alrighty. Hopefully that looks all right. Edge slipped a bit there. There we go. Tiny pieces. Okay. Does it look okay? It looks okay. There he is. He's coming together. All right. Let's work on the other bit of the antler and the ear, and we're done. Okay. So this one goes there, and then we have the ear with the outside, and then we have the inside of the ear. And then a chunk of white. Okay, 
So antler, ear, outside ear, inside ear, white. Okay. We'll sew those in that order. And then we'll sew them to the head, side of the head. And you didn't have to put the red in there. You could do black. I mean, you know, do whatever you like. Since it's a Christmas quilt, and I grew up with knowing about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I did it that way. Oops, it's like, wait a second, why is that extra pinky bit there? <laughs> Locked off the white part, but not the pinky part. I was a little confused. All right, do do jiggling. Oh. Hit that locking stitch again. Come on. All right. There. Yeah. And then the white part under the ear. So hope you guys are all getting ready for Christmas. Working on your crafts if you're making anything. If you're making some, let me know. Put it in the comments. You don't have to say who it's to. You can say, hey, I'm working on some paper crafts or something. And, you know. I always like to keep busy. I'd sew all the time. Making something, making something. I like making things. Bags and quilts and wall hangings and... The quilt shop's definitely filling up with quilts. I had one go out of here the other day. I was so happy. So happy. Couldn't get the permagrin off me. Still happy. Very happy. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> You're gonna love it. All right, little white piece and then sewing them together. That's block 11. I have to tell you, these blocks have gone by so fast, unbelievably fast. Like, when I was thinking about it the other day, I'm like, oh my gosh, we've only got like two more to do. Okay, you now you just add those two pieces that you just finished up to the reindeer. And there's certain sections, right, like right here and right here, that you want to make sure they're crossing the way they're supposed to, where your antlers are not going to look good. And I'm just going to shift this and lay flat on that seam. That's the side of the antler and the side of the ear coming together. And then this is the two parts of the top of the antler coming together. All right, see how that turned out. Oh, fantastic. Oh my gosh, such a cute block. Oh, me goodness. Okay, so did I see that wrong? No, it's upside down. <laughs> upside down. Get so excited. Get so excited, almost there. Alrighty. Okay. Now remember those two junctions, this one and that one. Make sure they really match up the best you can. That's what creates the whole complete image of the reindeer face. Alrighty, line that up, line that up. And don't forget to give yourself a really good pressing. And this is actually a press open, press those seam opens. That's why it really, it, it's handy to do it as you're going along. And of course this would be uh, a style that you really wouldn't want to stitch in the ditch. Um, because there'd be no ditch to stitch in. The seams are separated. All righty. Very happy. Little wrinkled reindeer, but he'll be really cute once we finish him up. Very cute. Loving him. Loving him. All right. One more block to go on weekend project of the Christmas quilt. I'm looking for ideas for after that. If you uh, want to see something or want to see something created or what have you. I'm up for anything or everything. Just give me some time so I can prep it, okay? So thank you very much for joining me for this little reindeer block. Here we go. 
Thanks, everybody. And uh, we'll see you soon from the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. Take care. See ya. Don't forget to check out Long Arm Wednesday and to like and subscribe.